doing Shea Bear 1000 here today we're going to get rid of this old throttle and we're going to put a new one on I'm not exactly sure what we need but I'm going to check it out go get the tools we need we're going to replace this stick around guys Okay guys, I'm going to go ahead and pull this hood off because I, I'm going to have to get down under here. Might make it a little easier. And to do that, I'm just going to unplug the headlights. And this hood should just lift up and out. Just like that. No tools needed for that. Now, looks like I'm going to need... Might help if I put my glasses on, guys. So we're going to need a Torx. Not sure what size it is. I'll let you know here in just a second. We've got to unhook these. And then up underneath there, there's a couple little clips. And I'll show you in the new one here. I got this. It was real cheap, and I can't remember what I paid for it like 18 bucks or something but you get both of them but as you saw only one of them broke off so to me it's kind of when they do that stuff you know you kind of it kind of adds more work to you for you because let's see what you're saying here because well, you're replacing both of them. So you gotta unhook two of them instead of just one. Also, when there's nothing wrong with the other one, we're just replacing it because of the throttle one itself and not the uh, choke one. So, um, what it, it's kind of a waste of resources, I guess is what I'm saying because you know you still got another lever you got another cable perfectly good cable that you're going to be throwing away well most people throw them away i won't be i'll keep the cable but there's these little clips in here here there's two on each side up underneath there and i don't know how well i'll be able to get you up under there to see that but what you're going to want to do it's going to be like this is push them in and push them up out but first, let's go ahead and let's unhook these cables. And that's another thing. The cable's not broke. So like I said, I'll be keeping the cables. It's just the handle. So uh, let me go get a Torx bit. Okay, guys. I know the lighting out here is terrible, but I'm in the sun. I can't move the tractor right now. i got to fly it. But this is a T25 Torx. Now these things, sometimes you have to adjust them. Sometimes you put them on and they're just, they're right there. So, so there's that one. Now we got this one up here on top, up here. This is for the choke. All right, so just pull it down just like that same way with this one we're going to pull it out we're going to open up the throttle pull it out and let it go all right now we're going to get up now i'm just kind of looking to see where these bruno how'd you get out houdini bruno's out okay oh he came through the garage door just kind of see which way these are going to go so this one came down through here i can always look at the uh look at the clip when I'm done okay so 
this one it's got a little just like that now up inside here like I said you're probably not going to be able to see anything I don't like sticking my hands up in places like that but I got a screwdriver right here I might need this to pry them So I got one pushed in top one there's the bottom one on that side now this one same way I'm pushing the I'm gonna push in the top I'm gonna because a lot of times I'll show you here in just a second what I got going on here a lot of times when you do this, this side will pop back in. I don't want that to happen, so I'm just gonna put something there. I don't know. See? So I got this side all popped out. Now I gotta push the other two pins in. The top one in that way, or tabs, and the bottom in that way, and that'll pop out. So this will hold it. It'll keep it from popping back down in on me, so. Well, let's see. You can't see much there anyway. So I'm going to bring you over here. And you should be able to... Alright, now... I'm going to push this tab in at the top. That will give you much room. can't really see anything up in there so I'm just uh, doing this by feel okay there's the top one now I'm gonna put something I'm gonna put something in there to keep it from popping out now this bottom one this should be it and it should pop out of here almost hard to see there we go got one of these still holding me it must be the bottom one there we go now let me pick this up so I don't lose it Okay. Now we're gonna pull this up out. See the cables are fine. Where you at? Just that one handle broke. Alright, so now we're gonna put this one down through and it'll just pop in guys. It should just snap right in there. We're good to go. So let's bring these down through here. Then we're just going to pop this just in there. Just that's it. That's all there is to that that section. Now this one, we're just going to reverse this. back down through this one coming up through here because it's going to go over here to the choke this one came down through here for the throttle and went inside of here clip that now we're going to hook these back up And see what you're seeing here all right okay so open the throttle up put it in that little hole there's only one hole on this one so you can't mix them up okay throttle's back chokes back 
So, I think that should be about right. We'll know here in a minute. All right. Make sure it's wide open. It's wide open. That's an aisle. Now, we're going to go up here. Do the same thing on this. We're going to put this up through. I believe it was up through one. Maybe it was down through or up through. Yeah, all right, I'm all right. Just like that. Just like that. Make sure that choke stays open. Whoops. So the choke's open. Now let's close it. Yes, good job. All right. Now let's see if it'll start. Hasn't been run, here's what I'm talking about. So, yeah, I need to get a new tire. All right, let's see if it'll start. Choke, full throttle. Nice. Yeah, monkey will like that. Now this hood, it just, what it does, it's got them pins, it just, that pin, it just slides down in like that. I'll show you what I can here. Now we're going to put the hood back on. I probably could have done it with the hood on it, but, uh, now the hood has to be at an angle like you're closing it in order for them to fit in there. But uh, I just like the most room I can get out of something, you know what I mean? The more room the better. And there we go. Now, that's it. It's all done. Everything's good to go. Nice and smooth and easy. There's full throttle and then you want it all the way up. Whenever you're mowing, guys, put it full throttle. Don't don't be running half throttle going, oh, I don't want to overwork. No, that's what it's made for. Anything. A tiller, a weed eater especially, wide open. Okay? That's what they're made for. Lawn mowers, put your throttle wide open. Okay, so anymore, it's like the push mowers. They don't even have throttles on them anymore. You start them and go. Well, once they start up, they're the same as if you had it wide open so and you like this one you'll feel it click that extra little click so there you go this one's actually got cruise control on it it's right here so she's had this thing about six years so all right guys there you go um I want to say thanks for watching I'll turn you around here and I appreciate it oh Bruno got out the garage door so uh, <laughs> we'll see you guys in the next one again this is an LA a John Deere LA 145 okay so uh, there's a couple different models that are like this uh, pretty much the same 
but so you get the idea it's not real hard especially if you have this particular one that's it um, the only cut I did was to go get my my little tools so other than that that's all the longer it takes trying to get out of the sun for you but anyway guys I gotta go uh, got a carburetor for my simplicity and a tune-up kit we're gonna get to that I don't know if we're gonna get to it today or tomorrow but we'll find out so uh, yeah with that being said I'm gonna say Shea Bear the Myth the Man and the Legend gone for now thanks again for watching guys appreciate it we'll see you in the next one bye bye guys take care